Thank you. <clears throat> this is an explanation of how the City of University Heights performs its tree maintenance program. And we're calling it Tree Maintenance 101. Just uh, a little background. The City of University Heights has been a Tree City USA recipient of a award for 42 years. And uh, one of the reasons for that is that we've had ordinances since that time um, requiring that we maintain our trees, plant trees, and uh, have a tree maintenance program. Just to run through some of the requirements of the Tree City Awards, they have four standards that we're required to meet. Uh, the first one is that someone must be legally responsible for the tree maintenance program. Uh, through the years, we've uh, hired a consulting arborist uh, and assigned that duty to him to be responsible for the trees and the tree maintenance program. And recently, we hired Jason Knowles, who's in the back here, um, to be our consulting arborist. The second item that you have to have is a tree ordinance, and in the packet that I provided, we have tree ordinances, and we've had them for many years, even before um, the Tree City Awards. Third one is that the community forestry program must have an annual budget which <clears throat> spends at least $2 per capita on our residents. Uh, we have not had much issue with meeting that criteria. We spend much more, usually in the, more in the range of $7. Capita. The last standard that the um, Arbor Day Foundation requires is that we celebrate Arbor Day, and we do that every year as well. Uh, not always on Arbor Day, but usually sometime around Arbor Day. We usually involve children from the local schools, and we plant uh, two to three trees, depending on uh, where we can find spots close to schools. So that also requires that we do a proclamation and that is also uh, something that we've met for over 42 years. So the Tree City uh, requirements uh, meet many requirements that people provide for tree maintenance programs, and that's why we've been a Tree City for, for over 42 years. Uh, the City of University Heights program goes a little further. We also take care of tree pruning, uh, tree planting, and other maintenance on trees. So annually, we have a tree pruning and removal program, and that's ongoing usually in the winter. We start sometime in November, work through the winter while the trees have no foliage on them, and we're usually completed by the beginning of March before the trees bud out again. And that's done purposely that way uh, to uh, try to limit the amount of stress on the trees that we're pruning. Uh, annually, we have a, a hazardous tree inspection. So one of the things we try to do is get around the entire city looking at anything that might be a, a critical hazard. A hanging branch, a large dead limb, other things like that on the trees. Those are all noted, noted and then they go into the next pruning program unless they're truly hazardous, in which case we'll contract for that work to be done immediately. Then we have a tree inspection and pruning program that we were talking about, the same pruning program that we do during the winter. <coughs> That program goes by zone in the little packet that I provided. We do a zone a year, and we have the city divided into four zones, uh, pink, green, blue, and orange, numbered one, two, three, and four. And uh, this year we're doing the green area, zone number two. Last year we did the blue area, zone number three. Uh, next year we'll probably be working in this pink area, zone number one. Um, each year we go through those streets, we walk them tree by tree, looking at each tree, noting what needs to be done to that particular tree. We keep a list of it, we also keep a list of any vacant tree lawns as we go along, and that, that list then is put out for bid to a tree contractor like Parks Tree, who has had our contract the last couple of years, and is doing this year's pruning program, uh, to perform the work. So, they go out, inspect the work as we did, they prepare a bid, we take that bid to council with any other bidders and recommend a low bid, and that contractor is then hired by the city to do that year's tree pruning program. Those, that pruning is explained a little bit in the codes that we provided right after the colored map. 
and it's called Explanation of City of University Heights Pruning Codes. We have codes between zero and five. So our zero code would be nothing needs to be done to that tree. It's been inspected, it's safe, there's no dead limbs or anything. The limbs have a, have a high enough uh, clearance on both the street side and the sidewalk <coughs> side, and so it will receive a code zero will do nothing to that tree. Code number one will require some raising of the tree, and possibly low limbs. It's a, it's a smaller tree, usually smaller limbs, uh, if you were get, to get into a larger tree, a code three or four type situation, or code two or three, it would be a larger tree. So generally, code one is smaller trees. The, the code requires that we lift the limbs on the uh, street side to a level 14, 15 feet, if there's anything protruding over the curb that goes that high. And on the sidewalk side, we require that they lift the limbs to at least nine feet, eight to nine feet so that we can get our sidewalk plow down the street, people can ride bikes on the sidewalk without hitting limbs. Uh, code two is the same type of pruning except in a little bit larger tree and a little more thinning of the tree. So we'll, we'll take a little more out of the tree, reduce the, uh, the overall head of the tree, we'll look for limbs that maybe can't support snow loads or things like that. Um, We'll look for limbs that are dead and take those out of the tree as well. We'll try to pick a main leader on the tree. A lot of these trees haven't been pruned for quite some time. So you'll find a split trunk where there are two leaders that are almost equal. We want to pick one of those leaders to make sure it becomes the main trunk on the tree as the tree continues to grow. Code three is a little more um, work. It's usually a larger tree, usually an oak. Um, you have to get up into the tree to actually see some of the work that needs to be done. We inspect the main trunk. We expect, inspect all the limbs on the tree. And usually this pruning is a little more severe. It's larger limbs coming off the tree. So you'll notice the cuts on the tree. Uh, code four is a removal. And removal includes taking the entire tree out and grinding the stump and preparing the site for a planting, which will happen the following year. Uh, code four often happens with some larger trees. We'll see some at council this evening uh, that have been inspected. And uh, although they're very large, they have dead uh, trunks and or split trunks and have the possibility that they could split and fall in the future. So although they're old and large, they've met their, uh, their life cycle. So, there are quite a few uh, code fours on our list. Tonight you'll see more. Um, code five is a young tree training program that we have for small trees that we planted in the last two to seven years. Uh, those we have to, again, pick the main lead around the tree. We need to cut off the lower limbs and get the tree to start growing upward. Um, that's, you take out some of the branches in the tree also so that it will pick main limbs rather than trying to have the tree uh, have multiple main limbs. Those, um, we reduced the tree by about 20% max on uh, taking limbs out of it. And uh, we've even had some pro pruning programs for the code fives where we re mulch the trees and restake them if they're not straight. So that's an explanation of our tree pruning codes and how we do the pruning. Um, tree maintenance also requires notices, and we provided a couple of the notices that we have in here. We try to notify everybody within the zone that's receiving any kind of pruning with a notice that we're coming to prune. And those that uh, are code fours, we try to send a special letter out to let them know that their tree is actually going to be removed. Because uh, that often is a controversial issue. I also provided some of the uh, ordinances that the city has, and like I said, those ordinances have been in effect for many years. Um, we still follow them. Uh, the next set of uh, lists in here has to do with our tree planting program. So following uh, the pruning program, which goes through in the fall, um, those locations that had trees removed the stumps are ground, the soil's replaced, and uh, we prepare to put trees back in all the locations where we removed trees. 
in addition, we've kept a list of all those tree lawns that are vacant and open. As part of our tree planting program, we want to have tree lined streets, so we'd like to have a tree on every tree lawn. We go out and we inspect those tree lawns for utilities, for overhead lighting, for signage for the street. We try to select a tree that's going to be appropriate for that site. In other, other words, if the tree lawn's narrow and has utilities on the ends of it, we try not to plant a tree that's going to become a huge oak or something like that. We try to plant a smaller tree. Um, our goal is still to try to get every tree lawn on every tree, or tree on every tree lawn. Um, so we have a list of trees that we find acceptable, and you'll see at the top that the trees are listed for those that have no height of obstruction above them. That would be no street light, no power lines, other things like that. So uh, those are rather large trees. You have the oaks and the cypresses and things like that. And then on the second list, we have smaller trees. Uh, we tend to be more flowering, uh, things that uh, could grow below phone wires and electrical wires. Uh, they also tend to be a little slower growing, but uh, usually within two years, we're back out there doing the young tree training and uh, trying to get those to, to get up to their mature, mature heights. So that's an uh, explanation of our tree pruning maintenance and uh, planting programs. If anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to open it up to questions. <coughs> no, thank you for coming. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, I don't want this to sound like an ongoing complaint, but I do wonder about the element of judgment here. Um, we have an arborist, I gather. Um, maybe, uh, maybe we've already met this person. I don't know what his background or training is. But in my particular case, I bought my house in part because it had a what I consider to be a glorious maple tree in front, fully shaped out. This was a few years ago. <coughs> Suddenly, no notice. It had been my word hacked. It will never in my lifetime be restored uh, or restore itself, perhaps I should say. There was never any, exp I, I asked for an explanation and the arborist indeed came by and he was, he said nothing, literally just stared. So how does one, I guess maybe my practical question is, is there any process of appeal or discussion, or is this simply arborist says cut, city cuts, end of story? Um, there, there is a, a method of appeal, and we do send the arborist out, as in your case it sounds like he did come out. I'm oh, sorry have, that he, tell me afterwards. Yeah, I'm sorry that he wasn't able to explain that to you, but yes, uh, we've had several, uh, even in this last program where we've gone out and met with the residents, and heard their concerns and then tried to uh, adjust our pruning program to meet their concerns. So that is possible. Thank you. Anything further? Okay, once again, thank you very much. Have a good evening. Are we going to, uh, should we hear from our arborists? Like if you would like, just certainly. Sure. Introduce myself at least. I think so. Okay. Yeah. so. We have a new arborist, so I think it would be good for people to meet Jason and uh, say a few words. As, um, as one of the other things that we do, occasionally we put out to bid or uh, request for proposals um, for arborist services. And uh, we did that this past year, at the end of the year. And Jason Knowles with Knowles Municipal Forestry uh, was our our winning uh, recipient of the of the uh, contract for consulting services, consulting artist services. So I'll let him answer. Sure, thank you. Um, I guess just a little bit about my background. I think what you asked is relevant. You know, who am I? Uh, what are my qualifications? Um, I am a consulting artist. I have consulted for Northeast Ohio only pretty much. I, I do some traveling and do some stuff out of state, but primarily my company is set up. I'm Jason Knowles with Knowles Municipal Forestry. I consult here in Northeast Ohio only. 
So I help communities anywhere from a city of Cleveland who just needs some extra boots on the ground to do some inspections and help them with maybe a per project thing. One of the big things we have going on is with all the Dominion work um, for me to help them uh, either save or make at least good choices about removing if they have to trees on a job like that. Uh, but I go all the way down to a, a Twinsburg Township or a uh, Glen Willow who don't have anybody on staff and I am their only um, arborist and kind of putting together a program for them. So it was nice when, when Jeff stands up here and talks about all the stuff that you guys are currently doing 42 years as a tree city that this has already been done. This is normally what I would go to a community and say, this is the things we should be working towards. You guys are already there. So you, you ask yourself why you need me. Well, there's still decisions that need to be made. And like you were saying, if there's some issues with pruning and maybe the aesthetics or if it's proper pruning or not, that's what I hope to be able to help with. Um, you know, I, I obviously wasn't there. If more needs to be done, we can look. The problem is, as you probably already know, you know, it's hard to put branches back on. So the time to catch this with people like you say, hey, there might be an issue, let's fix it before the next round. So I appreciate you coming in and hopefully we can take a look and, and make some adjustments if needed. Um, without seeing the tree, I can't tell you if it was good, bad, or, or you know, if it was necessary. Um, I was actually kind of thinking tonight, but for me it was more of a, let's hear from the community, let's hear from the people, so I know how to help. I mean, I, I do this for a lot of communities, like I said, all different sizes. I'm not exactly sure where you guys sit uh, on any given day, but um, I have been part of the pruning program so far and have been thrilled with the way things are going so far. The uh, parks are a great contractor. They, they listen, and if something doesn't look right, they call me and say, this doesn't look right, because you come out and take a look, which we've been able to do. So, so far, it's a good relationship with everybody. I, I look forward to working here uh, well into the future, I hope. Um, I don't know if there are any questions. Like I said, I'm, I'm more here to learn and listen and find out where I can help. Um, you know, I assume that as, as we uh, go through the plantings and prunings in the future, more things will come up. Hopefully, I'll be able to help in situations. But that's it about me. Any other questions? I'd like to introduce uh, a couple of people from Parks Tree Service. Uh, again, uh, I explained how we did our uh, bidding process after we prepared a list and uh, we put it out to bid. Parks was our low bidder and, and given the uh, awarded the contract, um, would you like to step up and address anything or introduce yourself? Sure. We have Andy Sorogen who. Uh, runs the, the crews out on the road, manages the project, and Betsy uh, Parks, who's uh, with Parks Tree, I guess. Are you related to the? We're related. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm the general manager. I help put together the bid, the bid proposals, help with customer concerns, deal directly with Jeff, um, with Jason, and, and Betsy. So. Uh, Betsy is our certified arborist for our company. She's our consulting arborist. Uh, she works directly, oversees all our crews. Um, she does everything. She climbs trees, goes in cranes, does it all. Um, but she handles our forestry division for our uh, company. Um, and, and we're blessed to have her. Um, she's very good at what she does. And her and Jason, uh, Jason just started with us this working with the project uh, kind of midstream. We've been working on the project prior to Jason starting, and uh, it was seamless. Betsy and Jason are getting along really good. They deal directly. Um, just as he mentioned, if we have any concerns, we can reach out right to Jeff, to Jason. And, um, it's been a great year uh, working on the project. Uh, I think we, we got done sooner than we have in the past few years um, with the project. Um, right now, we're just waiting on kind of getting an approval on a few other recommendations, and uh, and then we'll be wrapped up and out of the city for for another year and get every, out of everybody's hair. So um, we're uh, we're grateful to to work with the city. We we appreciate everything that you guys do for us. Um, is there anything you wanted to add? Okay. So that's us. Any other questions or issues? All right, thank you very much. I guess that will wrap up our uh, Tree Maintenance 101 for this year. Hope to see you next year.